we're heading to Lugano, 134 kilometers only. Bit of a lumpy one, destined to be, we think, one for the sprinters, or maybe uh, some of the tough guys with some of those little peaks towards the end. It's very different from the day we had yesterday. Bandiera, Kaiser and Bellato, part of an early break. Ilio Kaiser is um, used to going very long, but maybe just a little bit too long today. That's Bellato just coming through this uh, KOM. Only third category, no real impact on the blue jersey competition. And indeed, um, the only real test of the day as far as climbing was concerned. And I think everyone deserved that, frankly, uh, after the efforts that they'd engaged on the previous days. Um, in terms of general classification, well, after that shake-up yesterday, it certainly does seem like it's gone very much in the favour of Alberto Contador. However, uh, two competitions are still very much up for grabs. So the points competition is, uh, well, two rides on equal points. And also the mountains competition. Kreiswijk went into that yesterday after some great riding. Um, this is the battle for points and a red jersey's up for grabs and Sky leading Viviani into this. He wants those extra points. He wants a bit of a cushion, frankly, uh, because he's aware that when it comes to the sprint line proper at the end of the day, then um, he may well hand over that jersey and this is a bit of insurance he's just bought himself. It's, you know, Dan, it's going to spin down very, very quickly indeed. Lot of riders with options today. We've no idea who's going to win. It may not be a pure out and out sprinter. We're going to find out. Uh, Bandiera, Bellato, and Kaiser. 32.8 kilometers to go, and they're still got just under a minute. But you can see the legs starting to choke. The shoulders are going down. They may well drop fairly soon. It's a thankless task being part of a breakaway on a day like this. Here goes Tom Yelteslagte. He's decided that enough to enough. This is the chance for him. He's gone up the road. Slack that can deliver from this kind of distance. And that looks like Philip Joubert is picking it up. He sees the danger. He comes down the side of the line. He's going quicker and quicker. He goes into the tunnel. And Paulini is absolutely driving into this one. The bearded man who's got a classic to his name as well this year. And he's taken off. Paulini's lit this one up. He is in superb form at the moment. And look at how he's taking these curves. Oh, and they're going wide as well. Oh, the road is being used and it's lighting up. Oh, they're all going for this. 400 metres time is too much for him. He's backed in. Oh, now who's your pick? So much to choose from and here come that train. Oh, Viviani just loses a bit of elbow and here comes Mezgetti lighting up. And can he possibly make amends for what's been so much disappointment so far? Mezgetti hits the front right now. Does Viviani go through with him? Oh, this is amazing. Modolo's also in the mix. It's spread far and wide. Oh, and long last out the line. What an absolutely superb piece of work by Lampre Marina. What a day, what a drive, what a result. We love that. Madolo takes the day. Lampre Marina timing it beautifully. The three principal favourites at the top of the day delivered. Madolo, Nitsolo, Mezgetz.